Hello and welcome to another episode of Love and Daily. I'm your host today, I'm Benjamin Abella, together with Paula Kauki. How are you, Paula? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. These are, five, are our five headlines for today. Uh, Gazan group seeking to exit Electrogas deal. Health Minister rubbishes the Leah's justice letter. Nexia BT loses cash for citizenship license. Relative of 86-year-old COVID-19 victim speaks out. And last but not least, 90 migrants relocated from Malta to France. So, Paula, would you like to start us off with the first? The Bira Gazan Group, one of the biggest groups that accompanies the país, na alo eli adin yiprova yohor jumel electric gas deal. Chairman Joe Gazan, CEO Mark Gazan, hard to communicate. Fein amru wachara li minzani deal u madu mahadu lebda profit anti akshay tilfu ilflus u min haba el links li dan deal yider li ati kollo maratil. Daphne Caruana Galizia, Gazan Group, Marti Polushen, Shiasa, Mia, Obviament, the family group, Paldan, the reputation of the important Mia Stain, a Wia for reputation of the company, the color of the Madil, Meta, Yek, Kuni, Provat, Elia, Dakin, El Motif, or Tilta, Journalista. Heavy, literally, we had my main partners for consortium, we had to deal with it, but we had to deal with it. Ukoll, jidar ukoll, li din id-deal issa ija wahda min l-kavallo di battalja ta Bernard Gregg fil-kampanja tija għal leader. It seems like it. Bernard Gregg, the hopeful for the PN leadership position, took this case as an opportunity to plug his leadership campaign, seems like it. Um, he said that if he is elected PN leader, he will take the deal to court as one of his first orders of business. So, speaking of campaign plugs, Adrian Delia, the other PN leadership contender, seems to do something similar, tire, um, in a very different manner, however. Uh, Adrian Delia yesterday took a handwritten letter to Chris Fern, the Deputy uh, Prime Minister and Health Minister, asking him to join him uh, on his fight for justice over the controversial Vitals Hospital concession deal. What do you think of this, Paula? Yeah, very sfacciata. Uno asta originalità mil campaign team ta' Adrian Delia il-li marru għaċa ħaġek old school u koll il-fatt li jitra bil-miktu forsi paduċ jafda da' sek il-WhatsApp messages pero jimmin oppozizjoni fuq dan id-dil u koll taħlet il-orti ġiviri għat najn u din li trakin et purament nijġek reakċin għalli għamel Bernal għrek Chris Fern laqaw pero maddiċ sija li maħarriċ tweet Ja jidlu li mandux bżon il-gwida tijaw u jitolbu bix ma jidaħluċ fil-battalli interni tal-partijt nazjonalista jider il-li għara li marrant il-ministeru tal-saħa Adrian Delia Marka Stilia fejja mel-listess proċess provaj murrant il-ministru edwa ċikluna pero ma sabu ġem il-partijt laborista u fil-fat għarist għarija fejn ta' etniftit għal il-li missum Adrian u Bernard għabdu jitfit imxew da ċej niktar il-beltu marru spiċaw il-departiment ta' taċxi Għanno maċċaj ta' punt zajn, I mean, li jett nara li jett jo ġobni il-fatt li jie mittelli għa fil-partit nazjonalista i illi l-oppozizjoni bra marri da t-saħħi, għifri l-oppozizjoni għamet fuq taħħa għara t-snin, I mean, għabbel kienu għat jinħlew jidġildu bejn jietom, issa għallin għas, għanka jekk pot separat, għedin jamlu battalja għedin jarblu xol tal-gvern, u ija kena bżon njuza fil-demokrazija kena ċaħġa li kena njiqsa u li nispera li going forward l-oppozizjoni jitkun aktar kritika għata xoħl tal-gvern. Nistenna li l-lejdrin da li jajo baċiet ra bil-pidġin. Nimxu għat għal-storja tal-storja tal-lum. So next year BT loses its cash for citizenship license. Ekko, uġifirienti biex tkun tista ti parteċipa fly IP, ti tkun aġent liċenzjat, din liċenzja intilfet min neksja BT dan għara diversi rapporti fuq neksja BT, neksja BT għahda min dak il-kumpanije frizzati palissa u għara rapporta li faje ju li għara suspet li tonna, muxi suspet, għara li tonna transferix għazzoċ pagamenti taħam sinjel fil-wijħet li l-kiċ kembri vaja Pilatus Bank 
um, kiċ kem bħar iċajti li dawn il-pagamenti kienu repayment alone il li tal il tonna waqt separazzjoni tijaw sa jek temnu jow li tizab tiju. Kiċ kem bħri was also subject to a number of measures in the past few days. I was subjected to two freezing orders on his assets actually and he's currently out on bail after being arrested for around 24 hours. Um, at the moment we have no update as of yet about when, whether he will be arrested uh, again in, uh, in, the, in the coming days. However, this morning the Times of Malta said that Keith Cambry might be out on bail until mid-October so we can only speculate about what will happen of him after then. On to a completely different story, uh, a relative of an 86-year-old COVID-19 victim speaks out. So um, uh, the granddaughter of one of Malta's COVID-19 victims uh, spoke to Love in Malta uh, to detail the harrowing reality of coping with the death of uh, a relative, um, the death caused by COVID-19. So not only is there the trauma of having to um, of having uh, to deal with a relative uh, pass away from this horrible virus and uh, not being able to see them in hospital. Um, but after um, the person actually passes away, um, one has to make arrangements to bury them in, tw in less than 24 hours actually. Um, luckily, uh, our, the, th the source, the person that talked to us um, was in position of a private grave. So um, after making the necessary arrangements, they were able to take the body to the necessary grave. However, the, however if one isn't so lucky, um, the, the body of the deceased will be buried in, uh, in, in a government grave, and after which point uh, you cannot retrieve the body. Uh, the source also detailed how uh, after, the, after uh, her grandmother passed away, they couldn't, even, um, they couldn't even identify the body because it was covered in, in, in some sort of stress and shield in some, in some, in some sort of plastic, um, meaning that they couldn't even identify the body after uh, it had passed. Uh, after all that, um, the funeral wasn't too big of uh, a send-off either, with only five people being allowed to attend the funeral. However, now it has been pushed to 15. Uh, the source also um, highlighted how her grandmother, even though she was 86, was a very healthy woman, kind of debunking uh, the theory that, pe that old people are dying of their underlying conditions, not of COVID-19. Um, yes, Malta has been seeing um, some very worrying numbers in the COVID-19 spectrum, especially amongst older people lately. Uh, what do you think of this, Bola? Yes, the story of 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 في زمن جماعتي اللي قبضوا الكوفيد نحن 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 الفاميليات يهوا دا كوارانتين عشك اللي كنت تتمية و من الجفير أستستا تتند الفونرال ميلي كولوك شهات تزيزا ليك اللي في الأخر مومنت تهايتو ما تستاش تكون مياه و هبا الكوفيد إياه وكول فيرا كيرا الجفير يقندو كونديسيوري تولتريور تولتريوري يو ماندوش إياه نحسب لار موت كيف تستا تحلي للفاميليات يهكا شهات تحليها واحدك و أسي الفونرال ما يستكون فونرال نورمال لفي تستا تتشلبرا حايا دا سكتوينا جيفري متا يكون أمين مار إشالة مار بارتي مار ليدو واتفر و في الحات ما مادو شور تايمور يارا إننا يو إننا زومو في مخكم اللي يكن توم كارير تال كوفيد و هاد بلاوة لإننا يو لإننا يافو تكون لحار دار بل أطرايتو يجي فيري او قدو هاتنتي منس متا تراو موش هالانس يعني بس الفولنراب لي كولا ليش الفولنراب لي يدورو مقدو هاتنتي يكتارا ليش جيس المو ما يفلاخش فورسي هال كوفيد بسكون كيف يابدك داس هاتي هو ما ملبدا ما ندو يكون ملبدا false sense of security ليش ما تكون شتاكي تيسا تولتوك نتكلم فوق الانسياني انكا انترسانتي و تدوية استاتستيكا تال هوم سين جوزيف اي ملي يدر تيرتس تا يكون شكتار تال ريزيدنتي ابادوم الكوفيد انكا كم النوم اللي مندوم شسنتومي من النوم اللي عندوم من النوم اللي تلفو حقيتوم 113 من 278 ريزيدنتس ابادوم الكوفيد من النوم اللي عديلو مهم 
pero i ankwetanti meta covid tidħol post vulnerabbli bħal dan milli dek kien hemm 29 ukoll membru tal-staff illi ġew pożittivi għal covid u hemm mal 50 membru tal-staff oħra li huma taħt kwarantina jidher li l-management qed jipprova jissegrega l-anzjani illi huma covid negattiv minn dawk li huma pożittivi biex b'hekk li mixija ma tkomplix għaddejja ma then again ġdu noqogħdu attenti immens mal-anzjani ekku biex tagħmel Aħbar ma ndix taqsam kompletament u li l-biraħ ferħet ħafna nis għal raġunijiet differenti li maġina design immigrant telqo min pajizna abort aeroplan lejn pariġi fejn emmek seri kunuri lokati biex jikomplu jifitxu l-status tal-azil taħħom interessanti reazzjonijiet ta' għara dan suċċess għal-pajizna għara negoziati ma' l-ambaċxata franċiza illi ħaffu da' xej millu tal-immigranti pero kifet najtu nibqa niskanta bil-reazzjonijiet drammatiċi tal-maltin għal-kwalunkwe aħbar illa għatti kolla xtaq samma l-immigranti It's a bit worrying, actually, as soon as you mention a migrant in whatever story, you can just expect the reactions to explode tenfold. Issa da' un aħsjetant kem kienu kuntenti l-maltini tal-u l-immigranti, kuntenti xaf niktar minnu mikunu l-immigranti illi mux ħajif għaw blata u zajra, zajra, bħal ta' na fejma ta' nġandom fej nimorru u iso bleki morru ximkien ħaj kunu esploitati min uħut mux kolla ma neġin neri rizzawx imma jina nimmaġan ila ħafna min daw l-immigranti jixti u jimorru belt Europea uħra fejn jistaw jibdew ħajja normali ma jiet il-qux min pajizu meħdu il-tmur malta il-ġiviri na uħgura u lam li farsi sibu ħajja ħjar Ekku, interestingly enough, yesterday the BBC published a story showing that the EU is actually pushing for a pact that seeks to share the weight of migrant arrivals between all 27 EU countries. Now this pact is being pushed by the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, specifically after the fires that took hold in Greece's largest migrant camp, Moria, which practically left around 13,000 migrants without a home. This crisis kind of highlighted how um, the EU needs a more sustainable and a more long-term uh, vision to solve uh, the migrant crisis. Uh, hopefully, um, this pact is realized and hopefully Malta will uh, have a taste of its fruits as well. I be oh, <laughs> um, uh, that brings us to the end of this episode of Love and Daily. Thanks for tuning in and we hope you have a day full of love and This episode of Love and Daily was brought to you by Chevo by Wayne.